सो नाउ हाउ विल बी सॉल्व दिस एन माइनस टू इंटू वन एट इज द फॉर्मूला राइट वेर एन इज द नंबर ऑफ साइड्स ऑफ द पॉलीगॉन इट कैन बी एनी पॉलीगॉन एन इज द नंबर ऑफ साइड्स इन दिस केस हाउ मेनी साइड्स इट हैज ए बी बी सी सी डी डी ई एंड ए ई इट हैज फाइव साइड्स सो इन प्लेस ऑफ एन यू हैव टू राइट फाइव राइट एंड राइट द फॉर्मूला सेम एज इट इज एन इज फाइव फाइव माइनस टू इन टू वन एटी डिग्रीज इफ यू सॉल्व इट वी विल गेट द the value of the sum of angles is found okay so what is the sum of all the angles it came around 540 degrees right now we want to find the value of x okay so how will we do that we have got 1 2 3 4 5 5 axes we have got right so Phi into x will give 540. That means sum of all these angles is 540, right? So now, if we divide 540 by 5, we'll get the value of x. That will be 108 degrees. So the value of x is 108 degrees. Means the angle A is measuring 108 degrees. Angle B is also measuring 108 degrees, right? so we have solved this problem right now let's solve sum number 7 this is a figure in which we have to find the values of x y and z these angles we have to find out only one thing is given that is this angle is given is 30 degrees right so now how will we solve it 180 degree minus 90 degree okay and this is also 90 degree this is perpendicular this line is perpendicular to this line so the angle made by both of them is 90 degrees now how will we find value of x x degrees will be 180 degrees minus 90 degrees right how can we say directly 180 degrees minus 90 degrees because they are a linear pair of angles angle x and angle 90 they are linear pair of angles right if we add both of these we'll get the total degree 180 right now z plus 30 is also similar fashion right z plus 30 will give you 180 degrees total so we'll get get the value of z how 180 degrees minus 30 degrees So z value is 150 degrees, right? We got the value of z as well. Now, if we add x, y, and z, we will get 360. Why? Because all these are exterior angles. So by exterior angle property, we will get sum of all angles 360 degrees. So we know the value of x, which we found out it is 90 degrees. We know the value of z. we found out as 150 degrees so we will get the value of y okay if you add all these three and minus all uh, if we add these two and minus from 360 degrees we will get the value of y which which will be equal to 120 degrees right now let's solve b part of that same question okay question number 7 this diagram is given right where this interior angle 60 degrees given here 80 degrees given and this 120 degrees given and this is given as n we have to find out n the value of w the value of x the value of y and the value of z right all these are exterior angles and only one interior angle n we have to find out right so you know that the sum of all interior angles of this quadrilateral if we sum it the total will be 360 degrees right so 60 degrees plus 80 degrees plus 120 degrees and plus this n n degree if we add we'll get the value of 360 degrees right so on solving this equation we will get the value of n as 100 degrees right so 
वी वी हैव द वैल्यूज ऑफ ऑल इंटीरियर एंगल्स राइट नाउ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द सम ऑफ द लीनियर पेयर ऑफ एंगल्स ओके सो हाउ विल वी गो अबाउट इट नाउ वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ एन नाउ वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू सो वॉट विल बी द इक्वेशन इक्वेशन विल बी डब्ल्यू प्लस एन दैट इज हंड्रेड इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज यू कॉल दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन वन second we will add x and plus 120 then we will get 180 since it is a linear pair of angle okay x plus 120 equal to 180 this you call this equation as equation 2 now take this y plus 80 equal to 180 call this equation as equation 3 the fourth one is the last one now this is equation number 4 now you will you will have to add all these equations okay on adding all these equations you will get x plus y plus z Plus W. This exterior angles equal to three sixty degrees. The sum of angles as three sixty degrees. Now we'll see an example. Find polygon exterior angle. Has a measure of forty-five degrees. Okay, how will we solve this? You know that the measure of all exterior angles is equal to three sixty degrees, right? So now write it over here. Total measure of all of all exterior angles equal to 360 degrees right what information is given exterior angle has a measure of 45 degrees right so we'll write it down measure of each exterior angle equal to 45 degrees matlab har ek angle ka jo degree hai wo 45 degrees hai right so now how will we find out the sides number of sides simple we will divide 360 by 45 so we'll get the number of sides of the regular polygon okay therefore the number of exterior angles equal to 360 degrees divided by 45 degrees Each angle is forty-five degrees. So when you divide, you will get eight. So the polygon has eight sides. Okay. Now let's solve exercise three point two. What is the question? How many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of an exterior is twenty-four degrees? Right? Same problem is earlier. 
the exterior angle in this case is 24 degrees and you know that the sum of all exterior angles of a regular polygon equal to 360 so what you will do right let the number of sides b n okay now sum of exterior angles of a regular polygon equal to 360 degrees now number of sides equal to this is the formula sum of exterior angles divided by each Now let's solve question number 4. How many sides does a regular polygon have if each of its interior angles is 165 degrees? Now here interior angle is given. Okay. So we know that first we will write let the number of sides b n since we have to find out number of sides we will assume that as n ok you can write any symbol n x y p any ok now what will be the exterior angle exterior angle will be 180 degrees minus 165 degrees since it is a linear pair of angle so the exterior angle will be 15 degrees now you know the formula for finding the number of sides so we will write down the formula for finding number of sides it is number of sides equal to each exterior angle There I had made a mistake. I wrote it interior. This will be 360 degrees. And each exterior angle is how much we have found out? It is 15 degrees. Right? So when you divide, you will get the answer as 24. So you will have to write hence. The regular polygon. Has. 24 sides understood now let's solve question number 6 what is question number 6 saying it is asking what is the minimum interior angle possible for a regular polygon and why ok there are two questions first we will solve one by one How will we solve it? You know that equilateral triangle has three sides and the least measure of the interior angle is 60 degrees, right? 63 is the 180 because the sum of interior angles is 180 degrees. So first we will solve A part, okay? How we will write it down? The equilateral triangle B 
being a regular polygon of three sides has the least measure of an interior angle of 60 degrees now sum of angles of a triangle equal to 180 you all know that right so we will mention that because sum of all the angles of a triangle equal to 180 degrees here we don't know the angles so we will call it as x plus x plus x equal to 180 degrees therefore 3x equal to 180 degrees therefore x equal to 60 as i told you earlier okay 63 is a 180 so this is the way it has to be solved now we will try to solve the part b what it is asked what is the maximum exterior angle possible for a regular polygon what is the exterior angle now since this x is a interior angle what will be the exterior angle 180 degrees minus 60 so you will get the exterior angle now we will have to write it by a we can observe that the greatest exterior angle is 180 degrees minus 60 degrees if you minus you'll get 120 degrees right now let's learn about the kinds of quadrilaterals quadrilaterals types are trapeziums what is a trapezium definition of a trapezium is trapezium is a quadrilateral with a pair of parallel sides okay any polygon which has parallel sides not one it has to be two always pair pair means two pair of parallel sides is called a trapezium now in this figure if you see one and two lines are parallel so this is a trapezium i'll draw few of them for you right now take the example of this figure so now here this line is parallel to this line so this is also a trapezium okay i'll draw one more figure for you so these shapes which you see on your screen these are the types of trapeziums okay actually what is the trapezium it should have two sides parallel that means it should have a pair of parallel sides then you can say it is a trapezium otherwise you can't say it is a trapezium you have seen what are trapeziums now i will show you what are not trapeziums so it will be easy for you to identify okay here you can see there are two shapes none of the lines are parallel to each other you can see in this none of the quadrilaterals this is also not parallel 
okay this is also not parallel neither is this both parallel okay so they are not trapeziums so we will write down what is the condition of a quadrilateral it should have parallel sides only then it is called a trapezium trapezium is a quadrilateral with a pair with a pair of parallel lines or sides and here you can see these arrows these indicate the parallel line symbol okay i'll write in the bracket the arrows indicate parallel lines they are just signs that these both the lines are parallel you can see all these are said to be parallelograms why the name itself suggests parallel that means these two are parallel to each other and these two ad is parallel to bc in this figure if you take a shape of a square same this ps okay or you can say pq is parallel to sr right and qr is parallel to ps right you can identify with the help of this marking which i am doing on the n right and lo is parallel to mn right these both are parallel to each other so all these are parallelograms now you will see these are non parallelograms which you will draw so that you will be easily able to differentiate between them right now if you look at these pictures here ab is parallel to bc but ad is not parallel to bc here only one side is parallel a b and ed are not parallel neither is cd parallel to e bc is parallel to ef only one side is parallel here nothing is parallel so these are not parallelograms parallelogram a parallelogram is a quadrilateral whose the adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary parallelogram bisect each other means they when they intersect here it is given at the point of their intersection divided into
If you add both of them, answer will be 180 degrees. Understood? x y and right first we will draw that parallelogram okay a b c d is a parallelogram you have to find the values of x y and z given is angle b is equal to 100 degrees Angle D also will be equal to 100 degrees. Why? Because of vertical.